Bill from Sparky Channel. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee at the Ideal National Championship. Come on, let's see what's going on. Today I'm going to be showing you the Student Apprentice Semi-Finals. Here is the contest. Luis has just drilled a pilot hole through a two inch knockout on the 200 amp load center. And now he's going to go to the other side of the workspace. The other side represents the exterior of the house. And he's going to be installing a 200 amp residential underground meter base and grounding electrode system. Now Luis is going to use a hole saw is going to line it up with the pilot hole that he drilled through from the other side and hopefully this will come out just right through the knockout on his load center. Now Luis is grabbing his meter base. A meter base houses an electrical meter. It protects the meter's components from the weather. It's also the component of your electrical system that passes the power from the electric company to your panel. If something goes wrong with your base, it infects your entire system. A meter base is the mount for a watt hour meter that measures electricity use. Luis is going to be using a two inch in diameter by three inch long nipple to connect the load center to the meter base. So he's gonna to have to knock out the proper knockout for that nipple. This is the two inch by three inch nipple and he's going to need to put a grounding bushing on the nipple. This is a 200 amp meter base, by the way, and now he's securing it to the wall. Now Luis will work on installing one continuous length of conductor for the grounding electrode system. The system has two ground rods. He'll first get his ground rod clamp in position on the first ground rod. On this end, he'll strip the end of his four gauge grounding wire and tighten it well with the clamp to the ground rod.
Now he can get his wire to length and he'll work on this first ground rod. He's going to strip off an inch or so of the middle portion of the sheathing of the four gauge ground wire. And that, that's what he's going to fasten to the ground rod with the ground clamp. Luis will run his ground wire to the grounding bushing. Now for the service entrance cable. This is 3 aught THHN and he's provided 30 feet of this service entrance cable. And now he'll slip on a lock ring and then this is a grounding bushing. So first he'll put on the lock ring and tighten it on securely. And now for the grounding bushing. Now he'll secure some of his ground wire to the ground bushing. Now he's loosening up lug nuts for his service entrance cable.
Now he's loosening lug nuts on the meter base. Luis will now install his hot service entrance conductors in their appropriate lugs. Now he'll work on his neutral service entrance conductor. The white tape is to identify it as the neutral. He's now measuring up to see where he'll have to cut his neutral service entrance conductor. Once again, he has the neutral service entrance conductor well identified with white electrician's tape. looks like Luis is putting the finishing touches on his job. So 
now he's going to put the covers back on his meter base. And here he goes. He hits the time clock. He's done. Luis is done. Congratulations. Now let's see who the student apprentices are who will make it to the finals.